whenever you're ready. Peter Amos, John Engel, how are you? I hear you are retiring. I see it when I believe it. So I have fond memories that I'll just share uh, with some of the people who are there uh, of our times together. First off, I remember when you first came to Haiti, and I wasn't here, but I was hearing stories about this Peter Amos. And one of the things I remembered was they talked about this Peter Amos who walked from Kenskov to Port-au-Prince down this ravine by himself. I said, i got to meet this guy. Now, to all of you who know Peter Amos, this wouldn't surprise you at all, but we are talking about a major, major walk in a country that Peter doesn't know, and he does it by himself. So I also remember, I have such fond memories, Peter, of our time and visiting you and your family. Um, unbelievably fond memories with uh, Allison and Katie and Jenny and Vicky and, let's see, who am I forgetting? Um, and of course, Jean. I can't forget Jean. Jean and I, I'm not sure how she has put up with you after all these days, uh, after all these years, Peter. She deserves uh, sainthood. Um, but one of the other things that I remember is when you took me to Snowden and had me go on, uh, how do you pronounce it, Cribgo? I still, when I think about hanging out over that edge with cold hands on the rocks and the wind, and looking out over miles and miles, I shudder. I can't believe you had me do that. And all the other people who you took up there, Peter, my goodness. So, I, you know, I, if, if I'm a friend, I'd hate to see how you treat your enemies. No, I, those are such fond memories. And the other thing that I remember, uh, Peter, and that I appreciate so much for you, is your love for life, your sense of adventure, how you push, how you encourage people to take chances and that you, you see that as an important part of their walk with God. Peter, I love you, and I miss you. Happy retirement, and I look forward to the next time we cross paths. Peter, it's also an opportunity for me to thank you for your support for the country that I love, Haiti, where I am right now at my home. You have mobilized so many people to get involved in Haiti, and people like Ann Wilkinson and others who have come to Haiti, made longer-term commitments, your investment in this country has been significant and know that it's deeply appreciated. Thanks, Peter Amos.